without glasses, I don't. I will not lose fifty-four million dollars on an app that doesn't work. <laughs> This is, a, this is a prime minister who is now, whose government is now under RCMP investigation for giving out, again, for giving out contracts to firms that did absolutely no work. Now senior members of the bureaucracy are blowing the whistle and saying his top officials lied about it before committee. Will the prime minister cooperate, personally cooperate with the police in this latest criminal investigation? Yeah, yeah wondering how many millions of dollars Canadians would have lost if they had followed the Leader of the Opposition's advice and bought Bitcoin so they could opt out of inflation. Uh, Mr. Speaker, when it comes to serious matters, both the RCMP and CBSA's Professional Integrity Division are investigating. The CBSA has also launched an internal audit to look into contracting at the agency and has increased oversight processes when it comes to the contracting. The former director of CBSA, our principal border authority, said that he felt incredibly threatened, those were his words, by the former president of the organization. And senior bureaucracy, members of the prime minister's bureaucracy, are to have lied, according to this testimony, in order to cover up this $54 million scandal. The matter is now under Auditor General and RCMP investigation. Will the Prime Minister cooperate with the police, yes or no? Yeah. Speaker, obviously the reports coming out are extremely concerning, and I know that the, resp the uh, respective authorities will uh, be taking this extremely seriously. We expect our professional public servants to always conduct themselves with uh, utmost integrity, uh, and I'm sure uh, that that will uh, continue to happen. The entire government only takes direction from a guy who has two convictions for breaking the law, Mr. Speaker. And in this case, it's not just $54 million. There's $11 million given to a two-person two IT firm to do absolutely nothing. The same firm has gotten $60 million from this Liberal government since 2017 alone. The entire matter is under criminal investigation, so for a third time. Will the Prime Minister personally cooperate with the police, yes or no? Yeah. You can understand that I won't take overly seriously the accusations from an individual who was uh, Minister of Elections when he bro and was found to break elections law. Uh, Mr. Speaker, when we uh, see matters of wrongdoing, we ensure uh, that proper authorities are looking into it, and of course our government will always uh, ensure full cooperation uh, with investigating authorities. Here, here. Yeah. Mr. is a man of conviction. He's got two of them, Mr. <laughs> <laughs> actually doubled the amount of money spent on outside consultants after promising to bring it down. When we pressured him on this, he said, I know what I'll do. I'll pay $670,000 to another consulting firm to find out how we can spend less money on consulting firms. Here's some free common sense advice, and will he take it? Why not just stop spending on juicy contracts for his friends? Speaker, of course, we need to ensure that we're getting the best value for funds spent in the public service, uh, and the Minister of Reason is looking into it. Uh, but Mr. Speaker, let's talk about being a person of conviction. Uh, I am convinced uh, that we need to fight climate change. I am convinced that the only thing we can do to build a strong economy for the future is protect the environment and fight climate change while putting more money in people's pockets. These are my convictions, and I've continued to be consistent on them over the past uh, 15 years I've been in politics. We look forward to hearing what the Leader of the Opposition believes in, because right now it sure ain't clear. Yeah, yeah.